going into the regional, we kind of uh, had an idea of whether or not we'd get a major spot. We we knew that there was definitely a high probability that we could get it through the grid, uh, grid wild card. There definitely was like a lot of pressure. Yeah, it was a little bit stressful. Fight, like knowing we had to, probably had to perform well to get a major spot. Like, we couldn't you know rely on the grid wild card spot because of you know the peeps and like G two also had that above us. I guess if they hadn't made it. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where? I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. In terms of what you absolutely need to know, there's a couple teams who have guaranteed top 11. Envy, NRG, Rogue, and Space Station. Mm. Let's say by some miracle, G2 does not make top 11 in their points. They will qualify through the wild card because they are second place in the grid points for Winter Split. If G2 finish in the top 11 in this regional with Winter RLCSX points, Peeps will clinch the major through the grid wild card spot. If Peeps finish top 11, version one will clinch the major through the grid wildcard spot. So it was a bit stressful, but you know, we were pretty confident um, coming off like our grid wins. Like we felt really good. Like we were playing super well against like the teams we we needed to beat. And then, you know, against the super top teams, we were always keeping it close. Um, so we were, we were pretty confident overall. So starting off uh, the regional, uh, we had a bye and we ended up playing Seoul, who's like pretty much a bubble team. You know, you would probably wouldn't know them unless you followed the scene really closely. They came out the gate like really fast and started a bit rough and then we kind of settled in and we were able to we were able to close it out like that lower bracket is getting more and more stacked as the day goes on oh, but torment, torment he doesn't fall under pressure tie game for v1 big chance gimmick oh another save by stealth oh. net expert almost got to that too but torment gives v1 the lead version one a dub is a dub, and they're going to take it and get on out of here. Uh, yeah, versus Seoul, I remember they were playing really well. Like, we just didn't know, like, if they were going to be good, if they weren't going to be good, you know, what to, how to play against them, basically. It ended up going to game five. It was really tough, tough games. Uh, after that series, we all kind of just, like, sigh of relief, I guess. Like, we were just like, well, we, didn't, we didn't lose that because it would have been pretty tough dropping to the lowers. Um, and when you win that set that round right there, you secure top 12. So that's that's really nice. There's a good amount of points for us. All right. So let's look at the point standings, what we're going on. We're talking about winter split points. You have to be top 12 to make it in version one. They are tied for that last spot, but they'll get in either way because of the grid. So we don't have to worry about that. I think after figuring out we had the grid wildcard position, it wasn't it took the pressure off from the regional, but I don't think it, we, we took it any less seriously. I think we were still we, we still had a very similar mindset, but it, it definitely felt nice knowing that we'd already secured the major spot going in. So at that point, I was like, all right, we're good. Like, that's good. That's not a bad thing, you know? So, uh, but going into regional, it definitely shifted a, like, less pressure lifted off. It was really nice. I was actually live streaming when we secured the grid wild card. I was watching Peep's match. It was pretty good feeling, I guess, because we didn't make the major uh, last, last split, and it was a lot easier to make it last split, too, so it felt really nice. And here we go, third day of the tournament. In version one, trying to maybe pull off a bigger upset than what we saw from the fan predictions there. After our match against Seoul, uh, you know, we had a week off to practice and we were preparing for to play Envy, who's the number one seed and, you know, easily the favorites to win the tournament. Um, they won the last two regionals, so we knew it was a tough match, but we know every time we played Envy, we always went the distance, literally every single time, like four or five times, I want to say, throughout the season. So we're pretty confident we could at least keep it close. Because we've shown that we can we can we can compete against them. Uh so we just went into it like trying to play our best. They were playing really well though that day. Uh turned like really well. Like we were we, like it was hard for us to do a lot of stuff. Comms clear isn't fantastic. It's a good set over for Turbo, who misses it! Gets it on the second one! Johnny higher or lower what? on the turbo scale. <laughs> Will V1 rule missed chances in this game to try and take it? Yeah, I believe during the Envy series, um, most of us, I think all of us agreed that we kind of had some moments where we probably could have taken the series um, and they ended up just like clutching out. But after we started down down 0-2, it's super hard to reverse sweep a team like Envy. And we started coming back, but then, yeah, game four just kind of fell apart. They were just kind of super confident, came out the gates, just like kind of shut us out to start. And then 
yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit of a sad way to end the series. And then after that, we went to lower bracket, where Peeps was waiting for us. The big game for major qualification and major seeding. Um, so, you know, a lot, a lot on the line there between V1 and the Peeps, and not just for them, but for other teams who are trying to sneak into the uh, top 12 and NA also. So, all eyes are going to be on that game. That's a huge, huge draw in the in the lower bracket, especially this early in the competition. Kind of an unfortunate bracket team has, so we dropped down and put the Peeps because. The Peeps had lost their first round match to Sonic, so they were in a part of the bracket they really shouldn't have been. Like, they should, should have been still in uppers, probably, and we would have never played them, but they got upset. So that's the second time in a row in the regionals that happened to us, where we played, like, a top six team super early. Seeing what they can do, seeing their ability to be successful, is that almost rolled in. Good save from Gyro. Gyro's playing up, but he has no boost. He's going to go grab a corner. Meanwhile, pass play out in front of Lucian with the knockaway into open space and an open net as the Peeps pick up the first goal still playing around here but there it is the peeps they play with their food a bit but they ultimately take the series four games congratulations to the peeps as they move on and version one although they're running in here they went out kicking and screaming pretty much so many good goals from them so much offensive pressure that they were able to put on but ultimately the shots did not fall for them, and things went the other way for the peeps. So, unlike Regional 2, I, I wasn't as upset um, losing to like the, the teams that we lost to. Like like Regional 2, we played against two exceptionally well or two exceptionally good teams. Same thing here. Um, but I think it was definitely less uh, tilting, less worrisome doing it in the third Regional, having known that we'd already clinched the grid spot. So while it kind of sucked, we would have liked to have done better. It was nice knowing that we didn't miss out too much, um, like on points or, um, or, or on points based off of our placement there. And we still managed to get to the major. I mean, usually after the tournament, we just kind of, like, especially after a loss like that, we'll just kind of like leave the, the voice channel, not like dwell on it too much. Like everyone's obviously pretty down. So we all deal with it in our own ways. I wasn't super down though, because we knew we had already made the major. So it's like, good and bad at the same time like we accomplished what we wanted obviously top 12 isn't the greatest but we also we think back to like our results weren't like the craziest in all these regionals but we actually the only teams we lost to was the top six like we never actually lost anybody outside the top six honestly not too upset with how we performed you know across the entire split i think to beat these top teams well first of all it's like now's the time you know like it's come to the point where like we have to start winning them now like the majors the best place to start to be honest obviously we have to play well all, all of us individually but i think we have to like just go into every match taking it slowly just match by match and then it's better to play like that i feel like for us because we just like we get too into our heads and start thinking about like the next matchups or like the what, what possible scenario if we lose or something so we just gotta like stay focused, try and play the game, and hopefully we like come out on top on every game. So I'm extremely excited to, for the major. I'm looking forward to it, um, and I'm I'm really hoping to do well with it. I think I think we definitely have the potential, as we've proven. I think in the and then many of the regionals we're taking or in the grid we're taking these big teams late into series, taking some away here and there. I think if we get our consistency down, we're definitely gonna stand a very good chance in the major. Yeah, I'm, expi I'm excited to play in the Major, especially because, you know, we had missed the last split, so it makes it even more important for us um, to, to have a good performance and kind of show that we're like, you know, we're not that team we were last split, you know, we're here to play. I think we need to show up individually. I feel like if any one of us isn't performing, um, I think it's definitely going to be rough. Uh, like I'd say, I, I didn't play too well in Regional 3, and I think that's kind of one of the biggest issues we had. But I think if we all are able to perform well individually and execute our game plan, whatever it may be, I think we're gonna be able to do very well. So yeah, the mindset going into the major is definitely like, you know, it's more important. Like, you know, it's it's bigger stakes, more money, more points. So that's obviously always on your mind. Um, I don't think it'll affect us too much. I think, I think honestly, that makes me play better sometimes. And I don't know about common gimmick, but you know, a lot of like a lot of players strive for that kind of like pressure. I guess like it, it makes it more exciting and it makes it more fun. I, I definitely look forward to it.